Kendall's not like a speed demon or nothing. Speed. I am speed. One winner. 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. a Can-Am Defender HD8. Now, there's a little bit of a story. If you've already seen Brayden's video, you may know. I had a little bit of trouble getting this, okay? Let me just tell you the story. Originally, we were gonna get an HD10. It was big. It was nice. I decided I'd get the windshield, too. All right, what's the plan? What's happening? We got the key. We have the key. So, we're gonna pop in this game. Uh-huh. I don't you know any of the controls, but I don't have to drive a mule like a NASCAR. So, it's just like a car? Alright. There you go. And then I'm guessing we put it in. Uh huh. And then we just go. We're still on it. You gotta take it for a test drive. Taking it for a test drive? I want in. Oh boy. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay, it's real tight in this thing. Which one's not that tight? <laughs> what do you think, Kendall? You like it? Yeah. Pretty nice? Pretty nice. Better than the mule? Well, better than the mule? I would push that one. Now where we go? What if I fall out? Like it takes a left hand turn, throws me out. Oh gosh. First impressions. Um, I don't know, I didn't get over 12. You Not yet. If on it, it would have got over 12. We're going to later in the day. So come over. I just don't want to accidentally run into some guy's truck here. <laughs> And then we started talking the numbers. And by the numbers, I'm talking about the price. And that price, I was not too excited about. So I was like, hold up a minute, I can't do that. So after about three hours, I decided, let's, um, uh, you know, cut down the cost a lot and get an HD8. HD8, HD10, HD10 is more powerful. Power is not much value to me. I'm coming off a mule with 12 horsepower. And then the salesman came up with the number on this thing. I said, you know what? That ain't gonna work either, okay? By the way, we got it at Performance East. Back to the story. I said, how about we bring it down this much, you give me a helmet, two straps, a t-shirt, and a keychain. I made that guy talk to his manager six times, but we finally came out to a deal, and I have it here with me today. It wasn't easy, but I got it done. Yeah, I was actually thinking about it. This is my first big purchase in my entire YouTube career, and I've been doing this for five years. And after the money left my bank account, I can assure you, I probably won't be doing another big purchase for another five years, okay? I mean, we'll see how much value it adds. I think it's gonna add a lot of value. I can finally go to the river without getting stuck, or fear of getting stuck, or fear of blowing up, or fear of dying. You get the point okay this is a big upgrade from the mule and i don't think you need me to tell you that so let's go over the specs real quick i got green Kendall dude why'd you get green i don't know i told him i wanted the cheapest color possible and it just happened to be green the exact model i got defender xt hd8 the xt means that it's lifted a little bit better ground clearance got good tires on it has a winch and it also comes with a top really nice rig guys it has power steering suspension oh, oh, oh. and check this out look Oh my goodness, I'm riding in a second spaceship. It's literally got a NASA heat shield on it. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oof. Oh, oh. Big step up from the mule balls. Oh, oh. This is so much faster. Ah. Dude, this is something to work with right here. This is actually something to work with. This thing can actually go somewhere. Now, I do gotta keep in mind, it is significantly wider, so it actually can't go in as many tight places as the mule can, which is kind of surprising that the mule has anything better than this thing, but you know. Oh, it's very powerful. This thing's so mean. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Hey, hey, not hating on the mule or anything. The mule's still number one. Okay, I take that back. Mule's number two, but I still like the mule, okay? It's still a good machine. It's just, uh, it's just, you know, not this good, you know? 
Let's go check out the bunker. I won't even have to put this thing in four wheel drive to get down to get back out. I could probably just jump this over there and it'd probably be all right. Crazy to think this would be a downgrade for Braden Bryce, but goodness, man, what are you gonna do about it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the bunker's looking real nice. Also, guys, we actually named this. Miller actually named it while I was down there with Braden. Gre he named it Green Bean. So I present to you the Lean Mean Green Bean Trapping Machine. This thing's gonna have like a bunch of coons in it. I, I promise you that. Oh, we didn't even need four wheel drive. We didn't even burn out. I can't even believe it. This thing's got tires. That's crazy, dude, that's crazy. Anyways, guys, what we're gonna do right now, we're actually heading down to Adam's house. We're gonna pick him up, show him the ride a little bit, and then uh, we're actually gonna go set out some deer corn and check a trail camera, so that's gonna be really epic. Hey, I'll meet you whenever we find Adam, because we're gonna do a lot of more cool stuff with this thing, test it out with him in here. All right, Adam, what do, you, what do you think about first impressions? What do you think? It ain't the mule. Yeah, why not? What's the difference? It ain't as big as the mule. It ain't as big as mule. It's not as pretty as the mule. Not as pretty as the mule. Tires aren't as big as the mule. These are too big. The mule didn't have none of these. Need to shave him down. Yeah. Too knobby. Other than that, though, it's beautiful. What do you think about the green? It's kind of green gray. You can't hardly tell. We named it Green Bean. The Lean Mean Green Bean Trapping Machine. Got a winch on the front. That's crazy. You can run over things in this. Hit deer, whatever kids do nowadays. BPR. Oh, BRP. It stands for Braden Ripping Price. What he told me. It's t it's an HD8. But let's be honest, man. guys. All we gotta do is rip off the sticker and put HD10, and it's magically worth two thousand dollars more. I feel like I'm actually not gonna fall out of this one though. Yeah, I know. It won't go fast unless you put the seatbelt on. Really? Fast as in over 13 miles an hour. Lots? Lots, yes. High beams, dude. It's got high beams. No horn, though. Nope, not yet. Has it got a radio? Not yet. How the heck are you supposed to follow this thing? I don't know why I did that, but Braden Price does it, and I thought it looked cool. All right, Adam, first things first, put on your seatbelt. You already got that on. That's a good start. I already got it on. So like I was saying, guys, we're first going to go put Adam's corn. It's right there. Check the trail cameras, then we're actually going to have a little bit more fun after we set out the corn. But don't worry, we're still going to have fun before we set out the corn, too. I'll be taking us on over to where we're going to do something. Let's see if we got anything coming. All right, you ready? Yep. Is that, this top speed's supposed to be only 55, but I got it up to 60. I don't know if that's a big feed or not. I don't know. I think it's fun, though. 60 is fine with me. We can probably do an upgrade or something, maybe get to 65. Who knows? What do you think about it just like this? Smooth. Here's the river. This is a cool place to be riding. We've got a lot of cool places to ride around in Kentucky, especially this area. Like it's nothing. It's like it's nothing. Look. Oh. Take it on this like it's nothing. Wow. You mule, mule couldn't do this in a thousand years, man. I don't even know where this is going, but we're going to take it anyhow, you know? Right, we'll stop right here. We don't actually know where we're going, but we'll turn around. <laughs> the turn radius is supposed to be really nice on it, too. Oh, kind of. Now it's all in one-wheel drive in high gear. Takes downhill like a champ. Oh, hit them big rock suspension. Ate it up like a dream. Ate it up like a KFC Famous Bowl. That's right. Oh. Dude, this thing just... Straight eats it up. Eats it up. Like it's nothing. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Well, we'll see. If we did, we'll eat him. Oh man, that's a lot of dust. I don't want to kill the squirrel. Dude, I think we killed it. He didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he did, but it wasn't his fault. I mean, it was, but still. I don't I don't, I don't. know if we killed it or not. We didn't, it came close. Dude, it came very close. Just look for a, 
I don't know, something twitching, I guess. All right, guys, we're out here now. We have Adam. He's packing the bag of corn. The trail camera's right in here. We're going to check it and see what's up. Now, we also put up that blind a little while ago. Y'all didn't see that, but that's okay. It was actually on a members-only video. That's something new we started. You can join the membership if you'd like to. If you want more information on that, I will put the link down in the description. But yeah, we're just going to fill up the corn, and we'll check out the trail camera real quick. First picture it appears to be some turkeys. We'll zoom in on them. There's a doe. She's coming at 6 11 in the morning, so that's pretty early. We'll keep checking. Seems like she just stays here for a little while. I'm actually gonna tweak the angle a little bit. I don't think that the angle was perfect on it. If you didn't if you didn't see the members only video, we just uh, came in here and set up the blind and checked out some pictures, which we have bucks on camera, so that's always a plus. Look at that. Oh yeah, the defender. Adam asked me why'd you get green? Did you ask me that? No. Oh. How muddy do we want to get today? I mean, we got water, but I don't know how muddy we want to get. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we got as bad as much, much mud as we'll ever want right there, but I don't think we really want any of it today. Here's a pretty steep thing. I mean, we're going from like, what? Ground level to four, four or five feet above. Oh, it's a pretty steep angle. We'll see if this thing can do it in one wheel drive. It did that in one wheel drive. Te technically two wheel, but no, I, th I think it's actually just one wheel. We'll head on down to the river now and check it out. Hey, hey. I will say the mule's a whole lot better at drifting, but that's just because it has no traction and there's no chance of flipping it. Usually the mule couldn't do this, but this thing can. Goodness. Probably shouldn't came down here, but it'll be all right. Oh, ah, now this is where the mule could never go. I'm gonna drive it in the water some. I ain't gonna drive it very deep, but I'm gonna get her feet wet. Hey, you're going in. He's done. Huh? You're done. I'm done. I'm coming. I'm getting out. Don't run me over. Okay, Adam, get in. We're going. Got it nice and clean, though. Before I break something. Hey, guys, if you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for us. And I want you to go down in the comments and tell me how should we upgrade this. Because we definitely plan on upgrading. So, like, putting on a windshield for sure. I would like to put on a gun rack. Also, let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it, but you just got to do it, I guess. I don't know. We'll leave it in two. Yeah, I'm afraid. any of y'all watched my mule video you know exactly about what's about to happen oh we actually got something that time alrighty guys if you like this video I need y'all to tell me in the comments and also I want you guys to tell me how should I upgrade this thing we're definitely putting a window definitely putting a gun rack but what else? If you want to watch me take the mule to its limits, click right over here. Or whenever I got a motorcycle, right over here. 